good everyone welcome back to another video i hope you are all well if you're new here hello my name is muna i'd love for you to subscribe and join the youtube family in today's video i am just going to be taking you guys along with me this week but basically me being the person that i am um lily if you're watching this video don't even say i told you so because i don't want to hear it <laughs> so basically I'm always late, okay, basically. So I never really have time to do an intro whenever I go out. So I've recorded loads of things, but there's no intro. So basically I thought I'd sit down and intro the videos as we go along. I recorded a little bit of spend a few days with me. The last couple of days have been theater galore. I have not gone to the theater this many times ever, I don't think. The restrictions are easing up in the UK. You know, we're living the good life over here right now, okay? We hardly have any restrictions right now. I don't know how long this is gonna last. If you don't know about this hack as well, on today ticks, I think it's called the app, they do same day um, tickets for super cheap. So they have, for example, like 25 pound tickets for certain shows and basically you always get guaranteed a good seat. Every time that we've been, we've used that app and at 10 a.m they usually put the rush tickets out. So I would definitely highly recommend doing that because theater tickets can be very expensive. Yeah, like last time when we went to see uh, a show and we checked the seats of people sitting next to us, they had paid like 65 pounds and we'd paid 25 pounds and we were right next to them, right at the front. So that was amazing. If you can, if you're free that day, just do it. So we started off with going to the theater and seeing a play. Usually when I go to the theater, I go to watch like musicals or something we don't really go to watch plays but this one was such a pleasant surprise we thoroughly enjoyed it it's called 222 and it is a ghost story so when we initially went my friend wanted to go because it's got the girl from Brooklyn Nine-Nine it also has the guy from the in-betweeners in it so some famous faces in this show it is about Jenny and Sam who are husband and wife and they are hosting a housewoman dinner for Lauren and her new partner Ben Okay, Jenny, the wife, believes that her house is haunted, but her husband Sam isn't having any of it. Like, he's very much like, oh, you're just hearing things, oh, it's an old house, like, you know. They argue with their first dinner guests, old friend Lauren and her new partner Ben. Can the dead really walk again? Belief and skepticism clash, but something feels strange and frightening, and that something is getting closer. So they're going to stay up until 2.22 and then they'll know. Basically this Jenny woman thinks that at 2.22 there's always something, some sort of presence. So they're now all going to stay up to 2.22, 2 a.m. basically. Um, and oh god, when I tell you, like I had chills when I was sat in the theatre. First of all, if you love scary films, if you love ghost stories, definitely go see this because it was all about the acting and they did a splendid job in making you believe that you were like, I don't know, like, obviously, like, there was a baby involved as well, like, children in horror films, you know what that's like. It had a very eerie feel about it, and they did that so well, and it was giving me very much paranormal activity vibes, like, there was things moving around, so it very much felt like we were on the set of Paranormal Activity. It was really, really good. I highly recommend. There were multiple times where my friend like jumped or grabbed me and I was like, you know what, you're lucky that I'm sat here and not a stranger because if you went on your own, you'd be grabbing up on a stranger right now. But yeah, if you're a scaredy cat, this is not the show for you. There's a lot of loud noise. There's a lot of like, you know, ooh, like things that make you like, ooh, 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 you know, like, I don't even know how to describe it, but go see it if you can. We also went to see Anne Juliet in the theatre as well, which is a musical. I'm not gonna lie, this musical, it's sort of like if Shakespeare wrote Juliet differently and she didn't end up, spoiler, killing herself. I'm sure everyone knows the story of Romeo and Juliet. So it's sort of like saying, you know, what if Juliet carried on living and she lived her life and was like this independent woman, what would have happened then? So it's kind of like a rewrite of Romeo and Juliet. But to be honest with you, the actors were great, but the 
concept of it and also the music choice it was very much cheesy like they were singing Backstreet Boys and like it was covers basically they didn't have their own selection of songs it was all covers and so they would sing a lot of Katy Perry like it was very much like a bit cheesy we didn't love this the production wasn't wowing us either and um, we wouldn't go see this again unfortunately but it was definitely a learning experience and yeah, not much to say on this one to be honest. We also went to go see Bring It On. Oh my god, this one was one of my favourites. It is, it has just given me such nostalgia of when I used to do cheerleading at university. Oh my god, it just brought back so many good memories that I had with my cheer squad. It was so good, like I recognised some of the stunting that they were doing. So yeah, they had like a few full extensions in there. Like believe it or not, some like cradles and baskets. Yeah, it was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It had Amber Davis in it from Love Island. She pleasantly surprised me. Her acting skills, her singing, her vocals, 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. But yeah, those are the theatre shows that I've seen in the last couple of days. It's definitely not going to end there. I'm going to keep going to these theatre shows. I just love them so much. They bring me so much happiness. Yeah, there's a lot that I want to do. You'll definitely get to see more of that as well. I also went to Crazy Golf. We went to the one in Battersea called Birdies. We had a great laugh. We had so much fun there. It is a little bit smaller than other Crazy Golf places that I've been to, but it was literally only £12, so it was good. They had a bar, they had food. The music was live as well. Even the interior was amazing. The little mini golf sections were amazing as well and fun. We had a great time at Birdies and I would definitely recommend going there as well. Oh, <laughs> 
I just had a chilled day, so I will insert that here and yeah. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. So, it's a new day. Well, it's night time right now. But, part of my weekly vlog, right? I thought I'd add to my weekly vlog. I am going to just make some dinner. I just thought it could be like a little hang with me in the evening. Okay. So, I thought that I would just make some chicken. I'm so sorry about the lighting in here, by the way. Like, it can't be helped. I'm gonna preheat the oven. I should technically be making rice, but I might just have, you know, something quick, like sweet potatoes in the air fryer. <laughs> quick and easy. I've got this, which is already, like, chopped up. This, which is oven-baked sweet potato fries, and they're so nice, and they're so crunchy. These are so good. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I quite like salt with my sweet potatoes. <laughs> it's weird, but I just like, like to sprinkle a bit of salt on there. I don't think you can hear me with the microwave going off. But I also wanted to show you guys some of the songs that I've been listening to. Also, what have you guys been watching? Because I've been watching Cheer now, season 2 just came out as I'm filming this So I've been binge watching that I haven't got to Daytona yet, I can't wait to see their cheer routine and it all come together But yeah, for both teams actually, like Trinity Valley and Navarro Like I'm excited for both of their routines, I feel like they're equally as good as each other now this year But yeah, it should be interesting to see And I also watched this new film on Netflix And it's like kind of like an apocalyptic kind of film like end of the world type shit like robots taking over so yeah that was really good actually i quite enjoyed that but i was a bit unfulfilled with the ending but it is what it is like you know what i mean like the rest of it was good so it's all right obviously i've been rinsing out still over it album i've been rinsing out red taylor's version album right like i've been rinsing that but these are just some of the other ones that i pop in there sometimes um and they are my favorite i love the beat on this Wait, people can see me, you know. <laughs> it's the vocals. Oh, the chorus is my favorite. That one's really, really good. And then we've got Let Oh! Oh my god, what was that sound? <laughs> I nearly dropped my phone. You know what? This song actually reminds me of like. 
How good da da If you wanna be more you than you didn't need it You didn't You didn't need You didn't need it You didn't need it beautiful eyes yeah when I tell you his voice has me completely captivated he's so good his voice like as soon as you hear it you'll get what I mean and then the beat drops Kelani's bit is 10 out of 10 as well, listen to it. Got the next song playing, it's called I Hate You by Seza. If you wonder if I hate you, I do. Kill you to make you feel what I do to make you feel just like Has anyone else been like obsessed with this song called Hours and Hours? The way I've been trying to riff this and sing it and like, just the way that she sings it, she's so talented. Hours. Like, look at the way she sings it, it's such a good song. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it, like, blast it in your headphones, it's so good. You see the run! video is sick as well. I really want to learn like how she sings it and riffs it. I saw my bike but I feel like this is good when you want to like put headphones in and just like zone out work or like work out or whatever this is a really good one because it's fast paced. I also love this one. This shit is so catchy that's what it is. Her voice. Her voice. Well, that is all I got time for today. Thank you for coming uh, to my little concert. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my kitchen concert, I guess. So I've been watching a couple of shows on Netflix as well. And I finished this show called The Woman on the Street. No. The woman at the house are the opposite of the street of the woman. <laughs> no, I do not know the title, but you know which one I'm talking about. I have it up on the screen somewhere. I watched that. It was so good up until that bloody ending. What was that? I'm not being funny. What was that? I literally sat there like, you cannot be serious. I wasted my time watching this series. If that's how it's going to end, I don't want it. Like, <laughs> Does anyone else find that ending ridiculous? Did anyone else hate that ending? Because... I was thinking to myself like the logistics it just it's not adding up you know I'm just like baffled by it to be honest it could have been anyone anyone else but that person I would have believed it but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye bye